Hey everyone, Donovan Sadiq here, the, the Recovering Democrat. Uh, thank you guys for coming to my channel. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate the support and I also appreciate the hate. Because if you are hating what I'm doing, that tells me that you are actually listening. And that's a part of critical thinking because you could not form an opinion if you like it or hate it if you're not listening. So thank you, thank you, thank you on both sides, my likes and my hates. Um, <clears throat> what I wanna talk to you guys about is I'm getting a lot of feedback in regards to my uh, highlighting of black politicians. A lot of people are saying that uh, I'm not being fair because I am not highlighting uh, other groups of politicians. Now, I have a question I wanna ask you. Why would I waste my time? And I'm using this as, as a hyperbolic a, a type uh, statement, okay? Hyperbolic. Why would I waste my time in pointing out a, quote, white politician that doesn't have a black agenda? Why would I expect a white politician to have a black agenda? That makes no sense makes no sense. You don't have to tell me that a white politician would not have a black agenda. So let's switch that around. A Hispanic politician, I'm not expecting to have a black agenda. An Asian politician, I'm not expecting to have a black agenda. Human nature is black is supposed to do for black, but we know that we don't do. A Hispanic person does for Hispanics. If you look at the Hispanic caucus, there's no black memberships in the, in the Hispanic caucus. Name me one black person that is a member of the Hispanic caucus. There isn't one. Name me legislation given by a Hispanic politician that is black oriented. There is none. There just, there just isn't one. But if you go to the black politician, you will find Hispanic legislation there. You will find the everybody things, you know, Asian things like that, Jewish, whatever. But when you call them the task, and I'm not mad at them because they're representing the people that voted them in. So when people ask me, well, you know, it's not fair that you're highlighting this. So it's not fair that I inform you that the very people that you keep voting for are not even proposing legislation, even for a vote. Do you guys realize that HR 40, that Sheila Jackson Lee just now re-nominated uh, or put on the floor, or reintroduced, I'm sorry, that, that, that's a better word, reintroduced, now has a financial uh, part of it. It isn't a study, it isn't just a study. Now it has some financial backing to it. Is that because of you guys? Or is that because of the new black media harping on it? Saying that this is bullshit. Because we're out here doing the work. And regardless of if you agree with how we do it or not, we're doing the work. It's almost like good cop versus bad cop, right? You always have the good cop that is like, hey, you know, you know, you, 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 know, you get with us, we're gonna give you a good deal, you know, tell us where the body is, and you know, we'll talk to the DA, we can probably get you a better deal because your buddy over here, you know, if he gets the deal before you do. Then you have the other cop, we're gonna kick your ass, we're gonna beat you, you know, let me at him for five minutes, just close the door. That's how you do your negotiations. You're supposed to have the, the unapologetic, uncompromising person, then you have the, you know, the, the reasonable one. But that reasonable person is supposed to ask for something because what I'm asking for can't be done. Reparations now can't be done. But if you, being reasonable, says, well, okay, we can't get all of the reparations, but can we get some of the reparations? Maybe we can get some shit done. But the problem is you guys aren't asking. And yet, you guys expect all of this stuff to happen and Joe Biden is gonna save the world. It's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, that, that isn't how it works. You didn't ask for nothing. So Joe Biden, he, he isn't obligated to give you anything. But he's gonna do dreamers, LGBTQ, uh, 
DACA, all that other stuff. And I'm not mad at any other group. I'm jealous. I am jealous that when it comes to black people, we can't get and do anything for ourselves. But yet we are the first to help this group, help that group and help this group. Nobody championed kids in cages and the horrific stuff that is going on along the border more so than black people. If you don't believe me, name me off the top of your head, the leader of the Hispanic caucus in Congress. I bet you, you can't even do it. He's one of the Castro brothers. So I'm not sure if it's Juan or uh, Raul or the other one, but it's one of the Castro brothers, Representative Castro out of San Antonio. So this is what, what, what we're trying to do. And I just noticed this. White supremacy always breaks its tools when it's done with its tools. It always breaks them, okay? Nobody defends white supremacy more than black people. There's always black people that are going to say something in defense of white supremacy. I don't know why that is. Why is it what the new black media is doing that is so bad to you? Let us do what we need to do because obviously you ain't doing shit. You ain't doing shit. We're out here and we're, and we're holding these bastards accountable. And I feel that if you understood what your representative is doing or not doing, maybe a bulb will go off in your head and you'll say, why am I voting for this person who's been there for 30 years and they won't even introduce legislation for black people? But if you're one of those people that is on the everybody train, then maybe that's the candidate you want in there. But we are not on the everybody train. One thing about the new black media is we are not on the everybody train. We are on the black train. And with less than 12 years to go before we are slaves and out of wealth, I believe what I am doing is a positive thing for our community because when I go on my shows and we do certain things, I constantly hear people who were like, I didn't know that. I'm not sure about this. Wow, thank you for you know waking me up. I didn't know that about this person. So what we're doing, in my opinion, is positive. Because, you know, I mean, when you know better, you do better. It's just as simple as that. But nobody defends white supremacy more than black people. I have a bunch of MAGA friends. I don't get mad at them for supporting Donald Trump and doing what they're doing. They're going to do what they're going to do. So what? So what? Let us do what we got to do because obviously you're not doing what you need to do. But if we can get you reparations, if we can get it, if we can get it and you benefit from it, then what? You might not like the methods we use, but we're waiting for you to come up with a better solution. I, we are not waiting anymore. We are not waiting. I've been waiting for 50 years. I'm not waiting anymore. You don't ask the uh, Asians to wait. You're not asking the Hispanics to wait. Everybody has to, it's always the black person that has to wait. And I think that's bullshit. We're not waiting anymore. So I'm gonna continue to highlight bad black representation, period. You guys got to know what these people are, are about. They are not for you. They go in there and they become millionaires and whatever. And it's just so funny that the very people that are that are complaining, that are complaining, oh, you know, you're highlighting this. You know, I, I love when I love when they say this. Oh, well, you know, what are you doing? The person that always throws that out is the person that isn't doing a damn thing at all for at all. They're deflecting because they know they ain't doing shit. So you guys, uh, thank you for uh, the support that I'm getting. I appreciate it. Thank you for the hate that I'm getting. I appreciate it. Um, but those of you guys that know my situation and the politics that I've uh, delved in, 
I've been consistent for the last six years. And nobody gives me more shit than my own people. Again, you have a lot of options out there that you can uh, watch and deal with. And uh, this is what I choose to do. And I'm going to continue to do it because I think what I'm doing is the right thing to do. Because I'm not, I'm no longer going to sit by and just let shit happen. And just because I made it, I'm going to leave my people behind. I'm going to do everything that I can to uh, wake people up. And there's, I found out there are a lot of people out there that are uh, allies of mine and we're on the same mindset. We're on the same train and we are going to wake people up and we're going to rattle the thing because we're not waiting anymore. We're, we are not waiting anymore because we, we are out of time. We are out of time. But hey, you guys, check me out on YouTube. Check me out on The War Zone. Check me out on The Demetri K Show and uh, we'll see you then. <laughs>